Frustrations unto thee. Thou art omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient. Thou art Sachidananda. Thou art the indweller of all beings. Grant us an understanding heart, equal vision, balanced mind, faith, devotion, and wisdom. Grant us inner spiritual strength to resist temptations and to control the mind. Free us from egoism, lust, greed, anger, and hatred. Fill our hearts with divine virtues. Let us behold Thee in all these names and forms. Let us serve Thee in all these names and forms. Let us ever remember Thee. Let us be ever loyal to Thee. Let us ever sing Thy glories. Let Thy name be upon our lips. Let us abide in Thee forever and ever. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. O all merciful Gurudev, every thought of my mind, Every emotion of my heart, every movement of my being, every feeling and every sensation, each cell of my body, each drop of my blood, all, all is yours, Gurudev, yours absolutely, yours without any reserve, Gurudev, you can decide my life or my death, my happiness or my sorrow, my pleasure or my pain, Gurudev, whatever you do with me, Whatever comes to me from you will lead me to your lotus feet. Gurudev, you have provided us with the best facilities in the world for our spiritual growth. May we take full advantage of this precious gift of yours, Gurudev. May we look upon the ashram 
and all its contents as your body and treat them with love and reverence. This is our heartfelt prayer to you, Guru. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Mandahasa, Prima 
On behalf of our Divine Master, Sri Swami Shivananda and Puja Swami Sahajananda, we extend a warm and cordial welcome to all to our online Shivananda Day Satsang, a special welcome to donors, well wishers, and those tuning in from abroad. Those who want to cultivate true devotion to the sacred feet of the Master should overcome all sorts of evil habits like smoking, taking drugs, beetle chewing, snuffing, drinking, gambling, going to the cinema, television viewing, novel and newspaper reading, fashion, meat eating, pilfering habit, sleeping during the day, using slang terms, backbiting, criticizing, etc. Those who want to practice the yoga of Guru Bhakti should develop divine virtues like truthfulness, nonviolence, willpower, toleration, sympathy, self-reliance, self-confidence, self-restraint, self-denial, self-analysis, perseverance, patience, mercy, kindness, generosity, forgiveness, forbearance, justice, endurance, equanimity, determination, discrimination, dispassion, renunciation, courage, cheerfulness, and moderation. Why do you search in vain for pleasure outside? Approach the feet of the Sadguru and enjoy bliss eternal. The feet of the Sadguru and devotion to them 
are the two wings which enable the disciple to ascend to the peak of perfection. Om Shanti 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Shivanandaya Om Namo Bhagavate Shivanandaya Om Namo Bhagavate Shivanandaya Our first reading is taken from How to Get Peace of Mind by Sri Swami Shivananda. A True Hero Lust, anger and pride are the root of human misery. They are the enemies of peace. They bring havoc in one's life. If you can convince yourself that they drain your vitality and that you should root them out for your own well-being, then their conquest is easy. He who has conquered lust, anger and pride is a true hero. Our next reading is taken from Swami Shivananda in pictures by Sri Swami Shivananda. Power of Prayer Prayer elevates and inspires. Prayer expands the heart. Prayer keeps you in tune with the Lord. Prayer gives spiritual strength and peace. Prayer helps the descent of divine grace and light. You pray in your distress and in your need. Pray also in the fullness of your joy, in your days of abundance also. Pray without expectation of any fruit. Pray not for sun and wealth. Pray for Lord's grace. Pray for sweet communion. Four letters from Lord Yama. Man's hair becomes grey. This is Yama's first letter of intimation. He must now be prepared to meet death. At least from now, he must lead the divine life. He must do vigorous japa and good actions. But man, out of his arrogance and boasted intellect, does not pay any attention to Yama's warning. He applies various dyes to the hair tries his best to appear young, and eats, drinks, gambles, and still procreates. He now loses his teeth one by one. This is Lord Yama's second letter of warning. But the self-sufficient man puts on a dental set, thinks he is very young, and leads the same sensuous life. Then his eyesight becomes dim. This is Yama's third letter of warning. But the ignorant man puts on glasses and walks with a high-stepping gait. His legs and hands tremble and quiver. This is Yama's fourth letter of warning. But the audacious man holds a walking stick and tries to walk like a young man. But, alas, now Yama's messengers come and take away his life breath. The poor wretch goes direct to hell and suffers. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Can peace, can the peace that we seek by the spiritual path being obtained, <coughs> being obtained, <coughs> by taking of drugs. Yes, you can get that peace by taking drugs, but it won't be lasting. The, the drugs open certain channels in the brain, they force the internal channels to, the channels to open and then you get these experiences, they are genuine experiences. But the only thing we are forcing the peace I had a talk with uh, one of the world's greatest neurosurgeons, Mr. Naidu. He's a brother of um, Mrs. Saras. Naidu from Kumas. He's in London now. He's got strings of degrees. I stayed at his home also in London. 
So he was telling me also that the drug addicts, the brain gets damaged. See, so when you take the drugs, you will get the experiences, but a certain damage will take place because it's premature. For that matter, even in yoga, you can't force the pace. If you do uh, harmful exercises or uh, you try to go beyond your capacity, you can derange your brain. And Sir Vindu Ashram about, this was 1963, when I was there, there about 10 people went mad. Because they forced the experiences and Sir Vindu warned them, don't do it. When the, the um, failure comes mostly, mostly because of a weak nervous system. And when one has not controlled sex and pride, and if you try to bring the power down, then it's going to cause a damage. So that's why we are warned not to do uh, pranayama exercises, you know, the strenuous exercises. Because pranayama creates heat in the system. And if you don't know and don't follow the rules and regulations, then you're likely to cause a problem. Sometimes you get sickness and diseases and pains. Even if you, by having a wrong posture, you can cause harm. If you don't keep the spine straight, then you're going to get pains. Now everyone is straightening up a little bit. <laughs> see? <laughs> I see fantastic postures here. <laughs> Beside the 84 main uh, uh, postures in yoga, there's quite a few that I see extra here. <laughs> I was going to make an asana chart. It won't be a bad idea to include some of these new postures. <laughs> because the reason is that the, the, the prana See, gets obstructed, and sometimes you get pains in the back and here, and it will be just due to wrong posture. So all these things are very important. There was one person here, he was a, he had a guru from um, Isipingo, and then, then he, he used to do a lot of pranayama, and then he, he gave up his diet control, with the result that his brain went out of order. He came here too, and um, he was talking all sorts of funny things. He was going to India because heat is created. So the yogic texts tell you that when the heat rises to the brain, it makes the brain very active. See? So you have to have cooling substances like buttermilk and uh, the Brahmi oil. You rub it on the head. And in Swami Ramdas's book, there was one yogi created a lot of problems by teaching people to do pranayama. The, if the rules are followed, then there's no trouble. But if the rules are not followed, then even if you go uh, beyond your capacity, meditation also you can strain your brain. See, we can feel it sometimes on the head. When Dr. Sam Sega was here, he used to push himself. And I used to tell him that it's not good at all. We must have a balanced life. And Swami Ramda said the other day, a magazine came that someone said they were having good experience. They said, look, don't pay too much attention to trance, to going into the trance and seeing visions. Lead a balanced life and serve people also at the same time. So doctor used to go beyond his capacity, doing japa for about 10 hours, 12 hours, and he'll come to a state when his brain just couldn't take it. We had to take him to town every day, to the city, and he'll roam about and go to the bioscope and here and there. And then after that, he'll say for three months, he couldn't do any japa at all. Nothing could be done. So you can't strain the brain. The gospel also, there's gospel. Everything must be done slowly and naturally, depending upon your strength and your nervous capacity. If your nerves are very strong, then you can. I also, in the very beginning, I didn't uh, see all these rules, and I used to do a lot of pranayama. And by just reading Gurdjieff's books, and um, then I should feel so exhausted, I just dropped down. But my brain was very clear. And sometimes the, the whole digestive system would be, I would get diarrhea. But fortunately, I was observing all the rules. But later on, I read that you shouldn't go beyond your capacity. So the drugs open and they make, they spoil the brain. And after that, to put it right is very difficult. The, the, uh, especially the drug addict, they can't do a thing, a single job for five minutes. They'll be fidgeting about and 
they are very restless and to repair the damage is rather difficult but perhaps it's not impossible we have seen sadhus you know at rishikesh by him like they'll be sitting just talk still like that you'll be thinking that they 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 are part of the mountain with ashes and all that and they'll sit like for hours together you know wait for the pilgrims to put but when the effect of that drug is over then they start abusing people violently so what we are doing we are suppressing everything you see so that's why you can't force the pace everything must come naturally and that is why work is very important it gives the brain refreshment it gives a balance only in that one stage we can do meditation for a long period there are many in our ashram um you know, they, they didn't fare very well so drugs will give you those, those marvelous experiences otherwise people won't be taking it but as i said uh, the harmful effects are there's very dangerous to take these things um drug problems are going on today saranu saranu vinayaka namaste saranu saranu vinayaka namaste
lovingly invited to attend the forthcoming satsangs. Shri Gurudev's birth date satsang is on Tuesday, 8th November at Shivananda Ashram, Reservoir Hills. Ganga Aarti is at 5.30 p.m. followed by satsang. The 73rd anniversary of Divine Life Society of South Africa is on Friday, 11th November. Ganga Aarti is at 5.30 p.m. at Shivananda Ashram, Reservoir Hills, followed by Satsang. Our online yoga camp is on Sunday, 20th November, commencing with the Home Sadhana program at 6 a.m. Online yoga camp lessons are from 9.45 a.m. until 10.45 a.m. Lesson topics are Stories from our Scriptures, Swadhyaya, and Heart of Compassion. Pujaswami Sahajananda's most sacred Mahasamadhi anniversary, according to the Sanskrit calendar, will be held on Thursday, 24th November at Shivananda Ashram, Reservoir Hills. Ganga Aarti will be at 5.30 p.m. followed by Satsang. Our monthly Hawan is on Friday, 25th November at Shivananda Ashram, Reservoir Hills at 4.30 p.m. There will be a special Thanksgiving satsang at Shivananda International Cultural Center, SICC, on Sunday, 11th December, 2022, preceding the full reopening of SICC 
in January 2023. There will be a morning yoga camp program from 6 a.m. until 8.30 a.m. on this day as well. Pujya Swamiji has given elaborate descriptions in our books of the value of the Mahamrityanjaya Mantra, Agnihotra and Sri Hanuman Chalisa. Devotees are urged to continue with these practices regularly for their own safety and protection. Agnihotra will also help to bring rain. As per Pujya Swamiji's advice, the Mahamrityanjaya Mantra should be repeated all the time while driving. If we cannot repeat the mantra all the time, then repeat it as often as possible. It will help to prevent accidents, robberies, hijackings and other calamities. Om Shanti 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Shivanandaya 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 Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvarukham Ivamandalam Vrityor Mukshyam Amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvarukami Bhavandalan Vrityor Mukshyam Amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvarukami Bhavandalan Vrityor Mukshyam Amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvarukami Bhavandalan Vrityor Mukshyam Amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvaru kami bhavandalan vrityor mukshyam amritat Om Priyam Bhagam Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam 
श्री सतगुरुदेवा की जय 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 आरती विघ्न विनायक विघ्न विनायक श्री गणेश जय जय आरती वेणु गोपाल वेणु गोपाल